So far, we've looked at editing or swapping existing elements within the main interface. Now let's look at designing a new Pro Channel look. Navigate the Theme Browser to the Pro Channel folder. Here are all the various elements that make up the Pro Channel and its modules. Let's customise the PC76U compressor module a little. Click on the element to be changed and open it for editing. In Paint.net, select the new colour from the colour palette. The recolor tool is a quick, easy way of changing colours. Select that from the toolbar. Enlarge the brush width to a reasonable size so there's less painting to do. A tolerance of somewhere between 30 and 50% works well for this task. Make sure the centre of the cursor clicks on the colour to be changed and then just paint the new colour over the graphic. Note how the other colours of the control areas and plot areas are left unchanged. If they are recolored too, try reducing the tolerance setting. Save the edit and then adjust other elements of the module. The ratio buttons and knobs for example. Contrast the colour slightly by adjusting its saturation. Click on the More button of the Palette tool to do that. Remember that existing colours can always be found by using the Colour Picker tool in Paint.net or the Colour tool in the Theme Editor. The Theme Editor Toolkit is a collection of alternative images that ship with the Theme Editor. These can be used as starting points or building blocks to create your own theme. To use them, import the images as required to replace existing elements. Either right-click over an element and select Import from the Context menu, or select an element and select Import from the Home menu. From here, navigate to the Toolkit, which is found by default in your Cakewalk Content folder under Sona Themes Theme Editor Toolkit. Within this folder are subcategories of elements with various different designs and colours. For example, here are the current track view meters. Right click over the first graphic, the vertical audio meter, and select Import from the menu. Navigate to the Theme Editor Toolkit Meters. I'm going to use the tungsten images. Within this folder are images that have corresponding names, including the browser path, as the existing images. Click on the corresponding named image to replace the existing, in this case, vertical audio meters. Once open, you can see the differences between the two in the viewer to the right. Should you subsequently decide that you don't like the replacements, click on the revert button to discard the current changes and reload the last saved version. Once happy with the changes, save the theme and then load it into Sona to see all of the edits in context.